After a number of false starts and following successful on-site trials, the VCAS collision avoidance system is now being fitted to all deadweight and large tandem rollers from BOMAG 151 size machines upwards across the national contracting business. Furthermore, to meet our additional roller requirements, a number of rollers from within the GE Equipment Services fleet are to be similarly equipped. VCAS works to protect the 5 metre safety zone in the direction of travel of the roller via a number of ultrasonic sensors attached to the front and rear of the machine. This CD outlines the features and operation of the system and should be viewed in conjunction with the operator's manual. The control panel for the system is mounted on top of the dashboard. From right to left the green light indicates that the system is operational. The next two red lights are travel indicators for forward or reverse motion. The final two lights, the white and the blue, are partial overrides of the system and are key controlled. Keys will not be available for general distribution and will only be issued to supervisors who will action the relevant override prior to removing the key from the control box. By switching the key to the right hand position, night silent mode is selected. Here the audible warnings have been switched off but the braking effect of VCAS retained. This mode is designed for use in noise sensitive areas during nighttime working. By switching the key to the left hand position, the blue light is illuminated, indicating that the manual override has been selected. Here the VCAS braking effect has been removed but the audible warnings retained. This mode has been designed for use when rolling in excavations where the sensors may pick up the side of the excavation and begin shut down. The red beacon on the top of the cab will illuminate when the roller is operated in this mode. However, to ensure that rollers are not operated in this mode continuously, the system will reset itself and return to full VCAS operation after a period of two hours. The operation of the sensors, front and rear, should be checked prior to the operation of the roller. With the ignition on, but with the engine not running, push the transmission lever into the forward position. Alight from the cab and stand approximately 6 metres from the front of the roller. Walk towards the roller, making sure that at 5 metres the first audible warning is given and the red light on the front of the roller illuminated. Continue to walk towards the roller, noticing at 3 metres that the audible warning changes in tone. To test the individual sensors, hold the test button in front of each sensor in turn, ensuring that the audible warning is given on each occasion. To check the rear sensors, repeat the sequence, but with the transmission lever in the reverse position. The angle of the sensor bracket is vital for correct operation of the system and low loader operators have been advised not to chain around brackets when transporting to and from site. The angle should be checked using the marker in the handbook which should be held against the front panel of the roller ensuring the marker line is parallel with the top of the control box when viewed from the side. When a person or object, the intruder, is detected at a distance of 5 metres, audible warnings are given both inside the cab and externally. Should the intruder fail to move, the roller will at a distance of 3 metres give a further audible alarm and commence automatic braking, bringing the roller to a controlled stop within 1.5 metres of the intruder. For rolling to street furniture or for loading to the swan neck of low loader trailers, a foot controlled override has been supplied. When operated a klaxon will sound in the cab and the audible warning will change to roller approaching. In this mode, the braking effect of the VCAS system has been removed 
and the operator is in full control of the braking of the roller. In case of major failure of the system, a full override facility is available on the roller to switch the VCAS system off. This switch is situated in the battery box of the roller, operated by a specific key, which will again be controlled by supervisors only. This will allow works to continue until such time as the fault with VCAS can be rectified. All dead weights and large tandems on site, both company owned and hired equipment will be fitted with the VCAS system. However, where rollers are delivered to site without the system fitted, a full risk assessment must be completed prior to the roller's use. VCAS has been designed as an aid to safety and should be viewed as such. Roller operators must remain vigilant at all times and not become reliant on the system to prevent accidents or incidents.